Hey, you guys, it is the day before 4th of July. I did it. Don't you lay next to mommy. Calm it down. Bring it all the way down. Y'all, this is the type of cleavage I'm working with. Give y'all an update. I already gave y'all an update last time. Anyway. Boo boo. Hush. So we're waiting on my neighbor's son to come over, girl. Let me just go ahead and take take an anxiety pill now. Both of baby. Um, let me ask you guys for some from for some advice because I do like feedback. I welcome any type of feedback, whether it be positive, um, uh, constructive feedback. I welcome feedback and I do listen to you guys. So I had someone on my last video suggest that I make my videos a little bit longer because YouTube pushes out videos. That are, there has to be over five minutes, between five, six, seven, eight minutes. Um, I know when I was with Univision, they recommended not making your videos more than five minutes. Um, right now, my average video ranges between three to four minutes, but it's all over the place, to be quite frankly. But my last few videos have been short, but before that, they were around three or four minutes. Um, this is for reviews. A lot of that is due to the fact to that I only review one product in a setting. A lot of the other reviewers like Linda or Budsby, they do an entire collection. So their reviews can be eight, four minutes. Even if I don't take out footage, it's only six or eight minutes of footage, you guys. Excuse me, even, even when I don't edit out. And with that being said, my average watch time is only three minutes. When my videos were longer, my average watch time was only four minutes. I have close to 16,000 subscribers. Only 5% of you guys watch my videos. That is very little. Um, yeah, no, I'm not on here for views or for money. I'm on here because it's a hobby, but I still want to be providing good content. And if you guys want longer videos, absolutely, I can make them a little bit longer. But I guess my point, in, my point is, what is it gonna be for? Because I'm still gonna get only 5% watching those longer videos and most of the people are not gonna watch no more than three minutes. You see what I'm saying? So is it worth adding more footage at the end of the day? Anyway, go, but y'all let me know. I will still, you know, listen to what you guys have to say. Hey y'all, back from the gym. I didn't really do an intense workout. Cause again, I'm trying to take it slow. This is only my, my fourth time back at the gym. And I've been out for about seven weeks. I'm gonna take off my shoes. I am gonna buy some more Gym shoes, I only have three pair, girl. Maybe not even that, yeah, three pair. I wanna buy another pair. Um, just to have, I did a little bit of straighten up. Let me tell y'all how I straighten up. Now my house, I keep my house visitor ready. Now there may be some little stuff out, but you, most people don't just know, you know, not to show up at my house unannounced, you know. Girl, that's some, uh, that's some seriously extrovert stuff going on. They do that out in the country though. Oh yes, I remember growing up, because <clears throat> they didn't have cell phones back then. I remember, I mean, we, of course we had our home phone, but I remember growing up and a lot of times just family members would just stop by. Just stop by unannounced. Just stop by what you're doing, what, what are y'all doing? We're just gonna stop by. Um, and my parents were fine with that. Girl, not me, you better not ever show up at my door unannounced. You will be knocking forever. But anyway, in case, just in general, I like to keep my house pretty much tip top Things are in its order. So what I do, it's not like that all the time, but what I do at least twice a week to help me um, just so that I'm not doing a lot of cleaning on the weekend, I do speed cleaning, quote unquote. So I take a good, I took a good 30 to 40 minutes. I spend five minutes in each room putting stuff away, putting stuff in order. Anything that doesn't need to be in that area, I move in. I focus on that one room once it looks pretty good i move on to the next room now i've done most of all the rooms but our bedroom and our master bathroom now this doesn't include this now this doesn't include wiping down countertops wiping mirrors none of that i'm just making sure everything's in order So hey you guys, this is our, just show you a little bit more insight of our uh, homeschooling. This is our sight work three. And again, um, I have some sight work cards here that I made. And then we have, no, I'm not even at PK anymore. 
We have Bob books that we we read. So baby, um, I'm I'm still not that pre-k, dude. Oh gosh. What I one of the things I re highly recommend are these oh, cards. Little mama, look at that. I got uh -huh, that. baby. I got that from pre-k. Hot Dot Juniors reading. I have kindergartens one oh, and two. Maybe they can't hear me. And this is interactive. So what happens is, I don't know if I sh I've showed you this before. Um, JB, can you show them how this works? Sweetheart, so come over you, here. So you try Let's to do the, um, do the right okay, thing. So we're so doing ending, mm, ending, ending constant. Milk. Milk. Oh. See? All right, so did you, do, did you? Oh, I didn't hear it. And then what about the next one? Barn. Oh wait, farm, farm, farm. Is it working? No. Is it on? Let me turn it up, son. Cause I want them. To, I want them to. So he has the owl one, owl, and then the other one is a uh, um. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm from Texas. Owl. We don't say everything. Owl, and then the other one is a doggy. So the next one is soap. <laughs> Can you try this, sweetheart? I'll I'll show them. Now let's bring it up a little bit on it. Frog. Now this is what I happen if they do the wrong one. Okay, and let's do it again. Oh, there we go. So the good thing I like about this is that he can do this. I can monitor him, but he could do this mostly on his own. And that's the kindergarten one. Um, and then I have another one here that has everything from sight words, time, and money. We have patterns you here. That kindergarten. Mm -hmm. We have science. Science. Uh-huh, we have, um, again, sight words. Let's see if you know a little bit of this, Doka. Science, let's do this science one. The so ending consonants you've been really good at. I just wanna see where you're at. I'm trying. So where do you think milk comes from? You need to determine where these food, that's a big word. You need to figure out where these food comes milk from. Them. So we have milk. Can you get your owl? Milk, so. duck. Cow, tree, popcorn. So this first row, honey. Um, so you have to choose from this first row. Can you select I'll the right this. one? I give it. Let's see. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> so that's how that works. Um, this one is popcorn. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Where do you think popcorn comes from? Does it come from a sheep, corn, or carrots? Popcorn. Oh, like this one. I don't know. You try, try to figure it out. Oh. Yeah! What about eggs? It comes from me. Does it come from a goat? Oh. <laughs> Let's see what the other side is. Oh, oh same thing. Book. You can do that, baby. Go ahead. Word book. Bob's book. Um, <gasps> we'll read that together. And we have a couple of other books over here that I got from the library. Now, I'm my... Ah! Uh, the library we go to is very small, so the resources are limited. I may have to, baby, we may have to go into Phoenix to actually get some more books. Because I definitely want to focus on books that have some brown children. Well, not necessarily focus on. I would like to include books that have um, brown children. And it's funny. It's only been a month that, that we've been at this library, and there, that's it. We're running out of books with brown kids. So this is a great book. I think it's a good time to start. We've already been talking about our body. This one um, discusses My Body Belongs to Me from Head to Toe. Mama, look. Elephants in the Dark. Look at Mama. Yeah, I see that baby. A Lullaby of Summer Things. She's a brown a brown baby. And the, he, he loves this book. What is this book called, baby? That's not a good idea. I am back on my old camera because my Canon camera has decided not to turn on. I am s pissed is the word. I am pissed off. <sighs> I was on the phone with Canon and they were like, well, um, at this point we can only do a trade-in for the, sorry y'all, this camera is for the $300 difference. Almost $300. <sighs> I know some of you are like, well, you can continue to use this camera. Yes, but the thing is, is that the quality compared to my freaking, the Mark G7 6 Canon, that's like a proactive commercial. This is like Kmart. It's great. You can get some good deals. You can see a little bit, but with that camera, 
And if I plan on, you know, I want to be consistent, consistent, excuse me, with the quality of my content and going back to using this. This is, this is actually JV's camera, girl. This oh, I'm so pissed, y'all. You have to understand, I've, I have not had this camera for a year. It will be, it will be a year later on this month. Oh my God, I'm gonna see if I can get like some type of extended warranty with this bull too. Y'all, they came back from outside, inside. When I tell you that I have had to pull JB over to the side, I gave him one good popping on the butt and he fought back some gangster tears because his little friend is here too. And I don't spank him in front of other people, I brought him back to the back. I've canceled Chuck E. Cheese's because that's rewarding you for acting a damn fool. My husband's like he need, he's like he needs to get back into karate. I like karate doesn't help discipline your kids. The parents discipline kids. Now that's gonna help with you being, you know, obedient, but it starts in the home. And he's just over he's over excited because his little boy is here. And he literally he, we don't have people over. I mean he's only five years old, but we don't have people over and so for him to have a little friend over. This is the first time in months that he's had someone over, so he's super excited. He's not listening. He's loud. <sighs> We're at Raisin Cane, JB's place. Mommy got something. And there's Thomas. Can you say hi, Thomas? Hi. Oh, Now, we, we've had a rough morning because somebody acted. It is me. Is it you? <laughs> He said, you, oh gosh, one day, you got a whole other day to be good, okay? You got one more day to be good. Okay, so. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, we have this. Oh, we can get this for Brandy. Yeah, no, we can't. Put it down, baby. It's glass. Put it down. What does it say? It says, do not touch. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, I poured myself a glass of wine. I think I might have tacos again tonight. Yeah, I love tacos. Just bean and corn tacos. We'll detangle my hair tomorrow and wash Thursday. Box up this dang old raggedy ass camera. Uh, we'll probably move that off on Friday. What else? Um, we're not doing anything for for July. Y'all, another reason why I get a little uh, homesick being away from family. We don't have any close friends or family here and my husband works a lot of holidays. He, there's only a few times where he's actually off during the home base holidays because he works in the medical field. So it's just JB and I, and before I had JB, it was just myself on the holidays by myself. Um, something I wanted to say. I don't remember. Oh, I have recently, yeah, I've been buying products. I recently purchased the Kinky Tresses um, Moisture Bundle, and I purchased the Tweety Second Citrus. Let me put the camera down so y'all can see me. I purchased the um, Kinky Tresses Moisture Bundle, which includes oil, leave-in, and the butter. And there was a, um, Busby has a coupon code for that. So I was able to get like 15% off. Which shipping was only $30 or so, 30 something dollars. I also purchased the shampoo, a shampoo bar from the 22nd Century. I'm still a little leery about purchasing her deep conditioner. So I wanted to purchase the shampoo bar. And it was funny, a couple of people were saying how their hair was acting a certain type of way with the shampoo bar she made it very clear in some of her videos and I shouldn't say she made it very clear but she has stated in several of her videos which I love her videos I don't know this I love the way she talks sometimes she takes she seems like a type of person first of all she's an old soul she's an old spirit I love the way she dictates her word and the way she speaks um I know those bitter bunnies on on uh lipstick alley were talking about that how that that some of them didn't like the way she speak. People are so damn bitter. You worried about the wrong stuff. So anyway, I love the way she articulates, I should say. She takes her time when she speaks, unlike me. Um, so anyway, I purchased her shampoo bar in lavender. So she thinks that you have to detox your hair before using the shampoo bar and to be consistent with it. So I have been using, I try to stick to the same shampoos between Jane Carter and that main choice, baby, that main choice shampoo is a bomb. That's what I've been using. But once I get this shampoo bar, which I will be reviewing, 
I would definitely be using that consistently. Only her shampoo bars. Nothing else is going on. My volunteer starts this Sunday. You are so right. Go forth and conquer. You know, the Lord gives you what your heart desires. And I, I wanted to, um, you know, do my volunteer training. And I really do think that I've come to this. And I, I'm still doing my purpose-driven journey, you guys. If you're Those of you who are wondering about that, that series is still going. I will more than likely, like I said, the next video will be focused. And I do have no, notes. I've been writing notes and stuff. And I'm back on track, staying focused, doing my morning routine. And so um, I've come to a point, though, to where... And let me know what y'all think about this. I'm not sure if your purpose necessarily has to do with align with your career. Um, it would be great if that was the case, but I've come to a point to where my purpose may be separate from my career. Let me know. What do y'all think about that? I think so many people get caught up on their career and their job being their purpose, but... I don't know about that. I'm, I'm really not. I think your purpose can be separate from your career. Like I said, it would be great if they both go hand in hand. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's, at least for me personally, where I'm at, I'm not sure if that's where I'm supposed to be headed. I feel like especially with the church situation, because I'm uncomfortable and I don't want to do it and I'm trying to get out of it, but still there's... I'm still getting these signs that, you know, this is something I should be doing. I think that is something that God wants me to do. Because sometimes he places us in uncomfortable situations to build character, right? So, it's not like, you know, I'm going into a situation and I already know everything. I'm comfortable. It's cool. No. You got to get uncomfortable, right? So, this child. So, yeah, that's this Sunday. And I let y'all know how that goes. And my husband and I need a date night without JB. The last two times JB has gone out with us and he's been such a doll. He really has. But he needs to go ahead and go to an indoor playground for a while. What the hell? Hold on, y'all. Hello! What are y'all doing? I'm going to play the cereal. Want some cereal? Want some goldfish? So you guys, I wanted to place in the middle of this vlog an impromptu evening cleaning routine. This is what my house is looking like right now. Um, I try to put things in order as I move along. If something's out of order, I go ahead and clean it up. I don't wait till it gets pretty crazy. So as you can see here, this is the den. It's not too, too, too bad, but I did take the time this particular evening to clean. And I do this probably every two days or so. Not even that. Probably every three days I will actually clean at night. So here I am. I have to unload the laundry. And I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. These clothes have been in there for three days. Um, for a warning, I am a self-diagnosed hypochondriac. So I wear, <laughs> I wear compression socks even though I have a two-inch varicose vein on one leg. But you can't tell me that, girl. I'm wearing these compression socks all day. Um, great birth control, too. So taking out the tr uh, laundry, excuse me, pouring myself some water. I try to drink water as I'm working in the house and at this point I'm going to go ahead and clean my kitchen. Now I used to be really bad about leaving dishes in the sink. I mean it is what it is but I have gotten good about making sure there are no dishes in the sink because that's what makes your kitchen stinky. So um, washing the dishes, putting away some of the other dishes that are there that were drying earlier in the day. I try to whenever possible to clean with natural um, products you'll see me cleaning with baking soda I love to clean with um, vinegar and apple cider vinegar even hydrogen peroxide there's also cleaning vinegar I'm pretty sure most of y'all know this by now you can use Dawn uh, dish soap as a degreaser so that right there is some vinegar and Comet I'm gonna be putting that in my sink to scrub that down here in a minute but I cannot do without my bleach <laughs> my bleach and my pine salt
mom and my dad, the great thing about having a five-year-old is that they love to put their little raggedy-ass Hot Wheel cars in my decorations. <laughs> so just um, fluffing up the pillows. And if you can see there on the floor, we have very dark wood, hardwood floors. And this patio door, my husband goes out this back door every day to maintenance on the pool or even the backyard. So I'm just sweeping up some dirt. It's been a couple of days now. And I also just like to go ahead and mop, mop this little area. Now... I'm sorry, but I only mop off floors maybe every two weeks. It is a big task. I mean, the hardwood floors go throughout the den, the den living room, hallways, um, about four rooms. And so, yeah, it's a lot. So right now, this is what my kitchen table looks like. And um, I'm not going to do much, but rearrange some papers. Look, I like to keep stuff on my kitchen table. We do eat up here every now and then. But I like to keep stuff up here because I know where it's at. My bills, JB school stuff, his costume. <laughs> my purse his backpack anything that anything that I need to have access to I will go ahead and leave it here okay so next up you're gonna see me um spray down the countertops I have this um green works natural spray and I like to sponge it down and then use a dry cloth to go ahead and dry off the countertops I also do this with my um stove my microwave and my refrigerator I just got out the laundry yeah the majority of these I'm about to put on a bench and save in the morning it's almost nine o'clock at night who the hell has time to put up all these clothes yeah we're gonna do half of it and the rest we're gonna save for the morning time so yeah it is what it is I ended up doing you know putting away half of the laundry and putting the rest on the side now in the bathrooms all I'm doing is wiping down the mirrors the sinks look okay the countertops look okay really don't need to do a lot next up you're gonna see me in JB's room his room is not too too bad just putting some toys away in his closet um and yeah made up his bed a little bit but it's nine o'clock he's about to go to bed soon so again just making sure everything is in order besides that one area over there this is what my little boy rooms look like let me zoom out some not bad at all so i'm not doing anything else this is the other corner um so all i'm going to do is put a little drops of lavender oil so next up are a few clips of all the rooms that I've cleaned. Again, this is an evening cleaning routine that I do, like I said, every three days. I'm a type of person, I clean as I go. If something's messed up or if something is dirty, I clean it. I don't have designated cleaning, cleaning days. But if you guys are interested in seeing how I clean my house, let me know. Drop a note down and I will try to record that. Happy 4th of July, everyone. It is 4th of July, and yes, girl, not doing anything. I've been watching movies all day, cooking a little bit of dinner. My husband is at work. This is how lazy I am. I don't like getting in our pool. I don't. I have to climb in the ladder, get in, get my titties. Yeah, no. So I bought a little, <laughs> I bought a little kitty pool for JB. He's outside on the patio playing on that. I'm about to get him out. I know this is starting to be a long vlog, but I'm going to end this here and start the next vlog on Friday. Um, yeah, y'all, it's been a weird week. I think it's because of the holiday in the middle of the week. It's the holiday today, so it's been a really weird week, excuse me. Um, real quick, I've been getting some comments on my weight loss. Thank you, girl. What I've been doing is intermittent fasting. I've mentioned a couple of times. I eat between 10 and 4. I don't do it every day. I try to stick to two meals, snacking sometimes. Um... And that's it. Now, we started working out last week, going to go to the gym. I'm not really tracking when I'm working out, but because I'm making it a habit. Like, it needs to be almost every day. There's no reason why. Y'all, JB, like I told y'all earlier in the vlog, JB was absolutely crazy when his friend was over here. But let me tell y'all something that he told us. You have to be very careful who you allow your child to be around. I'm strict. I think that compared to most people, <laughs> I know we are. And I'm okay with being a strict parent um, because it's my responsibility to protect, to try and protect my child. Um, so this little boy, Thomas, and he's been over here before, and he looks sweet as pie on the outside. JB told me that he was cursing. When they were in the back, you know, looking at TV with the doors closed, the little boy was doing some very strong curse words. I said, well, what did he say? 
I, I need to know exactly. He said, well, he was saying the F word. I said, oh, no, at a car. I said, well, what were we saying? It's something you did? He said, at a cartoon. We, we, we cursing at the cartoon now? So, look, you can do whatever you want in your household, but we do not curse at JV, and we try not to curse around him. Now, y'all hear me drop a little D word, S, you know, S bomb every now and then. Whatever you do in your house, that's what, that's your prerogative. But we try not to do that here. Um, so, I was like, wow, he's cursing? At, yeah, no. And then he said, this is JV. He said, he said another curse word, too. I said, oh, Lord, which one? He said, he said the S word. He said, stupid. We treat words like stupid, dumb, hate, very similar to curse word. I call them strong words. So I tell JB, I've taught, I've taught him this at a young age. You need to, need to be very careful and mindful how you use these words. We don't say stupid in this house. There's other words you can use besides stupid and dumb. There's no, there's no one who is dumb, you guys. We're, I really do believe that. I'm one of those corny people who believe there's no such thing as a dumb question. Well, it depends. <laughs> but no. I'm teaching, with him, teaching him that, you know, we, we don't need to use that type of language. So he said, he said, stupid, you know, he saved that one for last. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be keeping this child anymore. I'm sorry. And this, this family, they have an entire family. They have siblings. They have other people they can reach out to. I'm just convenient because I'm right across the street. Um, but yeah, not anymore. And this is not the first time I've caught this child using some inappropriate language. I'm not, I'm not even going to get into what I heard him say a couple of weeks ago. And I immediately told um, the woman who was caring for him. And she rolled her eyes. Not at me, but at him doing it because she's like, he's out of control. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, again, you can do whatever you want for your child in your house, but I'm not allowing my child to be subjected to, to that type of stuff. So, yeah, we can hang out. We can do play dates, but your child cursing. And I always hear, you know, my, my best friend tried to spin that on me. And, yeah, I'm very upfront with people. When my best friend's little girl was around, around this age, around six or seven, she was like, she's cursing and I don't know where she's getting it from. I said, she's getting it from you guys. They're going to mimic the behavior that they're used to. So if you cursing, acting a fool, that's why I JB be acting sassy and all this because he sees me being this way. He, he takes it to a whole nother level because that's part of his personality, but he sees me this damn animated. He's like, oh, you animated too, mama? You ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> uh, Y'all, I don't feel like I put JB on camera much. So I'm going to put him on camera. Come closer to mama. Oh, yes. Going to summer camp tomorrow. Our last week before he starts school, y'all, I almost started crying here just thinking about my child. I found some a cute, a cu some cute um, videos of him when he was a baby. Oh my God, like baby, four or five weeks old. <sighs> so let me ask you a few questions, Boo Boo, to see how your your. I'm gonna ask you a few random questions, okay? What's your favorite color? Um, red. Oh, that changed. What's your favorite food? Mm. What's your favorite thing to eat? Candy. <laughs> That's a... That's sweet. What's your favorite restaurant? Ooh. Raisin Can. Raisin Can. I know that's right. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite song? Ooh. What's your favorite song? Bandy song. The Bandy song? That changed too. What's your favorite thing about daddy? Ooh. Playing games. Playing games. What's your favorite thing about mama? Ooh. Smelling your face. <laughs> Aww. That's so sweet. <laughs> he said smelling my face. That's so sweet. Um, like a dog. Like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you want to be when you grow up? Big butterfly I said a few months ago. <laughs> she still wants to be a butterfly, whatever your horse desire. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a horse. Oh my God. So what's what's your greatest thing? Name something that you're really good at. Uh, I'm really good at learning. You're really good at learning all. So what makes you happy? Ooh, candy. Uh, uh, actually, um, all of this. Actually, old stuff makes me oh. happy. <laughs> old stuff makes me happy. 
<laughs> what type of old stuff? Like my stuff, daddy's, yours. My, our old stuff, just old stuff in general? Yeah. Can you tell we go to the Goodwill a lot, girl? Um, so let's see. What makes yeah, you... Yeah, the Goodwill sells a lot of old stuff. <laughs> what makes you sad? Being bad. Oh, man, he had a rough time this week, y'all. What age would you like to be, if you could be any age? Because you're only five years old right now. Oh, I, I would like to be 25 years old. Oh, that's a good age. When I turn at that age, I'm going to watch Bendy. Yeah. And the super duper scary Bendy's, but I still watch. <laughs> I am so tired. Where would you like to live when you grow up? Oh, into a big giant house that's, that has stairs. Would you like to live in another state, another city? Oh, I would like to live in Flagstaff. Flagstaff? <laughs> I'm laughing because I didn't even know he knew about Flagstaff. Flagstaff? <laughs> Why would you? That's, that's so random. Okay, so Flagstaff. Flagstaff because it has snow. I don't, and I don't oh, even know what snow. snow. Yeah, I don't even know what snow feels like. Okay. That, well, one thing I noticed. <laughs> Your face. I, one thing I noticed is that you don't ask me to hold you that much anymore. I will. You will. <laughs> He's like, now since you pointed that out, you don't ask me to hold you that much. I know. You don't ask me. Why don't you ask me now? Because you're getting bigger? Or are you afraid that, I, that you're going to hurt me? Ah, you just forget. Getting too, yeah, I just get forgetting. Getting too big. You getting too big. All right. Okay, that's okay. I don't have to hold you. You are getting big. You can go to bed by yourself, right? You normally just fall and, asleep here. And and sometimes I I really go to and I really like last night when you were asleep. I I I woke. Up and went in the living room and drank some water because I was tired. Went back, went back to bed by myself and I wasn't even scared. Wait a minute, you got up and drank some water and went back to bed? Yeah, because I was coughing. Because <laughs> it was a bad cough. Bad oh, cough. you were coughing. You want me to leave some water in your room then? Yeah. Okay. That happened once. Okay. Can't happen. Anymore. Where did you get the water from, baby? Ooh, I got, I drank some water from Daddy. Oh, you came in here with, with Daddy and got some water? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I drank some, I drank some and went back to bed and put it on that large thing on my oh. bed. All right, y'all, we got to go. I'll see y'all in a few.